Welcome to another week of Kids Dream and I hope you're all having a fantastic week. If this is your first time watching Kids Dream, welcome. My name's Chris and I'm sure my family uh, around here somewhere. The kids are probably running around upstairs and, and having fun. Um, so this week, as you can see, my, my family and I went and got our Christmas tree and then we had a really, really great day, you know, putting up the tree um watching christmas movies eating popcorn having a dance around and just really getting into that christmas spirit so what have you guys been up to have you got your christmas tree up yet have you been doing fun christmas activities maybe at school maybe at home maybe you put up loads of lights outside your house <laughs> whatever you've done we you know we'd love to see some pictures so uh there should be a link popping up somewhere underneath uh, at the bottom of the screen. So please send them to us and we can share them with everyone else next week. So as usual, we have lots of fun stuff planned for you this week. We have an activity coming up next with Sarah, who we all know always does fun activities. Uh, we also have a Bible story and some music, and you might even see some pictures from last week's activity. So you might see some pictures of your friends from church. So speaking of activities, um, why don't we jump over to Sarah now and uh, see what she's got planned for us. And before you go, don't forget to send us your pictures of your activities too, to the link at the bottom of the screen. Uh, right, Sarah, over to you. Hello, 
Hello everybody, today we're going to make paper spring, paper springy pictures or people. I've made a shepherd and his sheep and then a Christmas tree just to remind us it's Christmas. So you will need some strips of paper, different colours makes it look a little bit look a little bit more pretty but it's up to you. So take your paper then glue the end together like that at right angles. Once you've done that, fold the bottom piece of paper over the top of the other one. And then the next one, fold it over and then keep going all the way until you end up with a spring that looks rather like this. And that's your spring ready. Then next, take a piece of paper or card. Card works better. Either print your picture or draw your picture. Decorate it, colour it in, cut it out, whatever you want to do. And here's one that I did earlier of another sheep. Then you're going to stick your spring onto the back. And have some fun dancing your animal or your person or your picture around. Enjoy. Thanks Sarah, what a great craft. I know my kids will definitely enjoy doing that one and I hope you guys do too. Uh, so now let's uh, jump over to our Bible story and I'll see you guys on the other side. The story of Christmas, Jesus and the wise men. This is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. <laughs> His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset. Ah. As was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah, not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and it was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha. So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews star first appeared. Oh God. And then King Herod told the wise men, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was, so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello. Oh, look. Wow. And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait. They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was. But God told them to go home a different way. So they did, and then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, get up. The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt with Mary and Jesus because Herod was looking to kill Jesus. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with Jesus and Mary. They stayed in Egypt until Herod was gone and it was safe for them to go home to Israel. <laughs> When they returned, an angel warned them about the new ruler of Judea, who was Herod's son. This way. So Joseph and his family went to the region of Galilee and found their new home in the town of Nazareth. Look good? Yep. 
We'll take it. Where Jesus would grow up and eventually do all the amazing things God had planned for him to do. What a great story in the lead up to Christmas. So in the story, the angel tells of the news that Jesus brings, which is great joy to all people. That the baby Jesus, the son of God is being born and that he has been sent to us to save the world. Now we must remember that at the time, the shepherds had some of the worst jobs around. They were stuck on a hillside looking after sheep for hours and hours and hours, sometimes through the night as well. So you can imagine that would have been very tiring, but also very lonely. Yet God wanted them to know that the arrival of the baby Jesus um, was also for them. And that God wanted everyone to know of the birth of Jesus, not just the rich or the poor, but everyone. So the story really shows that no matter who you are and no matter where you come from, the gift of Jesus is for each and every one of us. Hey, what a great message. So let's let's go have some music. Uh, go get up and dance. If you know the words to the song, sing along too. Uh, and we'll see you on the other side. singing and dancing to that song and what a great song it was 
So why don't we all finish off with a prayer? Father, thank you for this week. Thank you for all the gifts that you have given us. Thank you for our friends and our families and for making us all different. And although, that, and although we are all different, thank you for loving us for who we are, no matter what. Help us to remember that everyone deserves love and to love others like you love us. Amen. Right, thank you guys. Hope you had a fun time today. Uh, we can't wait to see you next week and have a great week. See you later guys. Bye.